Hello again to everyone out there. This is part two of the lesson, Who Wrote the Bible, Man or God? And uh, first thing I want to say is um, that uh, a lot of us, we, we try to use our own minds again. And this is the reason why this is a topic. So let me go ahead and get in right, right into it. Let me get into uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And I'm going to read verses 19 and 20. All right. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. For what is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So he already know your thoughts before you even say it. Because he already going to understand what you're going to say. Because if you're trying to figure out God instead of figure out why we're sinners. And why we sin. And why we do things that's wrong. Remember, God's, uh, man's wisdom to God is, is foolishness. And it's enmity again. So when you bring up questions about, you know, who wrote the Bible and stuff like that, you understand you're trying to depict depict the, uh, the one that's ruler of everything. And uh, I have a co-worker I had, uh, we were speaking, and some minds are very uh, warped, I may say, <clears throat> because anybody that asks the question, why did God uh, let Adam and Eve eat the fruit? Um, if he knew they was going to eat it, since he know everything, he's perfect and his Bible is perfect. Why did he let them eat the fruit? First of all, we got to understand that we're not supposed to even question God. If my son, if I tell my son to sit down and I know the reason why I want him to sit down and he's my son, you know, if he come to me and ask me why, that's disrespect. If your sons or daughters ask you right now, why I got to sit down, that's going to make you angry. So we got to understand that we have to respect God first, be obedient. The same spirit that was on Adam and Eve, especially Eve, uh, for her to eat the fruit, she was disobedient. She already knew that she wasn't supposed to eat it. Adam knew he wasn't supposed to eat it. So for her to, to think, oh, well, why should not eat it? That's when the, the devil came to her and, and attacked her. So I say that for a reason because um, certain questions shouldn't even come up. I mean, do we depict our phones? Do we say, oh, let me go find out why my phone works? But you use the phone. You don't even know how, you, how to make it work, but you know how to use it. You don't know what the technology. You don't know how to make the screen glow or anything of the mechanic parts of the phone, you don't know how to make it work. The technology itself, which you use that phone, you use your computer. You don't go and pick out everything through your through your computer and try to find out what makes it work and then calling up all kind of vendors and finding out, did y'all put this screw in the right place? What is that screw right there for? You don't depict that like that. But you'll depict, which is, see, we understand those, that's a spirit that, that, that runs on people. And, and and it's all through Satan because he wants you to doubt. He wants everyone to doubt and everyone, he wants everyone to go to hell with him because he knows that's where he's going. So he's going to throw divergence. He's going to throw all these wicked questions in your, in your mind to make you doubt Christ and doubt God. Can't y'all see that that's Satan? That is Satan working. He, he want to make people confused. Don't worry about if. Adam and Eve ate. That's, they, that was God's business for him to put that, that tree out there for them. That's their business. We want to say, well, how did all the other extra people come in Genesis? You know where it's, you, you know, you speak about, you'll see a few people in Genesis, and then all of a sudden you'll see, hey, the Bible is not, if the Bible could put everything down that happened, it'd be about this big. I can't even, you won't even be able to see it on the camera. Again, stay basic with your mind. Basic information. That's what the Bible stands for. Let me get it up there. This is a study Bible. Basic information before leaving earth. Basic information before leaving earth. That's it. Anything else that you strike up? Well, why is green green? Why is blue blue? You can go on about why, 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 why. That's the, that's the spirit of the wicked one working in your mind. And don't let them do that. And I'm not trying to lecture anyone, really. You know, but I love, you know, all of you. Um, you know, and, uh, 
That's the Holy Spirit that's on me that's wanting to love anyone that want to hear this because it needs to be heard. Even the ones that I've seen on YouTube that I've seen all these people think it's contradictions in the Bible. It's, it it kind of almost angered me because, um, and I don't even have all the knowledge of the Bible, but I know that's fake. See, the Holy Spirit would teach me. You know, a man can't teach me this Bible. What he can do is give me the information. And if I can't understand it, that's because that's the Spirit is not giving me the, uh, the, the wisdom yet. You know, you understand? So I want all y'all to look for other videos that I'll be coming up with. See you all soon.